Good to know that you are there. You're on to the news on the R, brought to you from the Anglican Cable Network Nigeria ACNN. I am Zubechi Frank. You are welcome. The chairman of GAFCON and the Primate Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, His Grace, the Most Reverend Nicholas D. Oko, has urged all the faithful Anglicans around the world to summon more courage in upholding the true scriptural beliefs of the Christian faith. He also praised the courage and level of sacrifice they have shown in fighting the infiltration of false teachings and beliefs that found its way into the Anglican Communion. This was contained in his Advent message to the members of GAFCON while urging them to always be on their guard against falsehood that is still growing as he pointed out that more provinces are rejecting the authority of scripture. Pramit Oko also used the medium to congratulate Archbishop Mbanda of Rwanda who has confirmed that Rwanda will be joining Nigeria and Uganda in declining to attend the 2020 Lambeth Conference unless the Archbishop of Canterbury includes all faithful bishops of the communion and declines to invite those who continue to accept the jurisdiction of provinces which have stepped outside the boundaries of apostolic faith. He concluded the letter by appreciating Archbishop Peter Jensen, who steps down this month as the Gafcon Secretary. He made welcome the successor Archbishop Benjamin Kwashi, believing God that with wide international experience and his determination of, to preach the gospel, one can be sure that the Gafcon movement has a great champion for its commitment to proclaiming Christ faithfully to nations. When the light of Jesus comes into the life of any individual, that life becomes a transformed and a changed life. And when a nation invites Jesus, the light of the world, into their nation, that nation will automatically begin to experience positive change and progress. This was the assertion of the sub-dean of the Diocese of Abuja, the Venerable Ben Idume, during his sermon at the 2018 service of Christmas Carol and nine lessons of the Chapel of the Resurrection Episcopal House, Wuye, Abuja. A CNN News correspondent, Wanne Ogechuku, was there. The true way to celebrate Christmas is to allow the Son of God to be born in our hearts. It is the 2018 service of Christmas carol and line lessons held at the chapel of the, the Resurrection Episcopal House Abuja with the team Light of the World. The service was attended by the Primate of all Nigeria, His Grace, the Most Reverend Nicholas D. Uku his beautiful wife, clergyman from the Diocese of Abuja, invited choir, the host choir, which is the chapel choir, among others. To as it is written, the, the night lessons was read by individuals from the Diocese of Abuja. The light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. She will give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Venerable Benny Dume, who is the speaker for the event, called on the people to embrace Jesus, who is the light of the world. It is only the light of the gospel that can give real meaning to the life of any individual. Praise the Lord. It is only through the gospel that a life can have meaning. It is only by the gospel that an individual can really behave properly. When a man invites the light of Christ into his life, this light comes in and expels every darkness, darkness of habit, darkness of character, darkness of lifestyle is, is, is banished and the true light takes the seat. And Jesus lives there and lives and controls the life of that individual forever and ever. He called on the church to shun tribalism, injustice, wickedness, and every other form of evil behavior that are found in the church today. The church is not better off if the nation is in darkness. The church, who is supposed to be the refuge of the wanderer, 
is not better off. The injustice, tribalism, wickedness, and all forms of indecent behavior which we find in the local church today points to the fact that there are still so many in the number of the congregation that are yet to come to this light. In this celebration, we invite you to the light of Christ. We invite you to embrace this light. And through this light, your life will have a better meaning. If other called on Nigerians to embrace Jesus, who is the light of the world. In this celebration for this year, we present Christ again to the world, to the nations. There are men and women who see him and come to this true light. The light that can make Nigeria a better country. The light that can make Nigeria a better place for the educated, for the rich, for the poor, for the politician, for the student, for the artisan, for everyone. Whoever comes to this light, who is Jesus, will have a better life. Where there is no segregation. Where there is no tribalism. Where everything is complete. Believing in him gives you complete life. Believing in him, coming to this light, we present this light to the nations. That men will come to this light and embrace this light and their place, our world, our nation, our communities, our neighborhood will be better. It was a time of singing and rejoicing as the choir sing melodious tunes. Walked where angels turn when you kiss your little baby. It was also a time of prayers for divine decoration. Yes, Jesus was decorated. That was why his star shone. And the wise men located, his, located him. People of God pray that this season shall be upon you. A season of divine decoration. The service came to an end with all the choir coming together to sing with the congregation. One day, Ugechu, this year, neighbors. The Catholic Sectorate of Nigeria has reiterated that Catholic priests under the canon law of the Church are barred from active involvement in partisan politics. This reaction is coming shortly after an altercation between controversial Catholic priest Reverend Father Ejik Mbaka, spiritual director of Adoration Ministries Enugu, and ex-governor of Anambara State Peter Obi. The Secretary General, Reverend Father Raf Madu, who spoke to journalists at a press conference in Abuja, said that the Catholic Church was disappointed with the altercation and had asked the appropriate authorities to take necessary action. Mbaka has faced criticisms online over his embarrassment of Peter Obi during the church's recent bazaar. Ahead of the 2019 general election, President Muhammad Buhari has again given assurance that his government will do all that is necessary to ensure that the outcome of the vote reflects the will of the Nigerian people. He made the statement when he welcomed the ambassador of Finland to Nigeria, Dr. Yuki Juhani, who had come to present his letter of credence to Buhari at the presidential villa Abuja. This is even as the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic 
Democratic Party PDP Atiku Abubakar said Nigerians would not be deceived again in the 2019 general elections as was the case in 2015 when they voted for the change mantra of the All Progressive Congress APC. In a statement made available to journalists by his special advisor on media and publicity Femi Adeshino, President Buhari said he understands the yearnings of Nigerians and strongly believes in the collective dream for a greater country. He assured the people that all will be done to ensure that the results of the 2019 elections reflect the will of the electorate. President Muhammad Buhari has approved the posting of Treasury officers to key revenue generating ministries, departments and agencies of government where they will function as directors of revenue and investment departments. The Account General of the Federation, Ahmed Idris, revealed this while hosting the President and Council members of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, who were at his office at the Treasury House on a courtesy visit. According to him, the Treasury House was already restructuring its functions and departments, which will ensure that Treasury officers were assigned to various key revenue generating agencies. The agencies include the Nigerian Ports Authority, the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, the Nigeria Customs Service, the National Communication Commission, uh, the Federal Inland Revenue Service, among others. I made note that part of the roles of Treasury officers were to be drivers of the reforms in the public finance sector in line with the current administration's commitment to diversify sources of income, strengthen controls as well as boost revenue generation of government. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has appointed the Administrative Secretary Delta State, Mrs. Rose Orianran Anthony, as Secretary to the Commission. INEC revealed this in a letter on its verified Twitter handle at, Ni at INEC Nigeria. Her appointment will run for a four-year term with effect from 6th December 2018. We shall now go on a short commercial break. News on the hour continues in a moment. Please stay with us. We want to thank you for always tuning in to our numerous value-adding and impactful programs. We cannot overemphasize your comments and views on our social media platforms. They've been really, really encouraging and shaping us to do better. My name is Samuel Iola. In the course of improving our quality and coverage, we have upgraded our broadcast format from MPEG-2 to MP4. This is to improve the quality of the video you watch and also enable you, our extinct viewers, to watch us anywhere you are in the world using your mobile phones. To keep watching ACNN, the simple step you need to take is to perform an auto scan on your HD decoder. If you don't know how to go about this, just follow these simple steps. Press menu on the remote controller of your decoder. Select installation menu. Press OK. Scroll down to auto scan and press OK. What you now have on your screen is the list of several satellite presets scannable on your free-to-air decoder. Just scroll down until you locate Intelsat 20 with angle 68.5 degree east and press OK. If you want to delete all existing channels on your decoder and scan them again, choose the Yes option. House, choose No to add new channels to the existing ones. Press OK and sit back while your decoder scans through the available channels. Your decoder will automatically quit the screen when scanning is completed. If this is not the case, press exit button until you get out of the menu screen. Go to the list of available channels by pressing OK and search for the new ACNN channel with the TV suffix. That's all! If you find this procedure difficult, 
contact any satellite dish installer around you. However, if you don't have a free-to-air decoder that supports this format, then you may need to get another decoder that supports this by contacting any satellite dish installer or vendor around you. Well, we are happy to inform you that you can now watch all our programs on your mobile devices as well as your laptops. Just visit our website at acnntv.com forward slash live from any device. And you can also watch us live anytime, any day via your laptop by logging in to facebook.com forward slash acnntv and click on the live TV link on the left hand side of your screen. Always remember that we will at all times bring to you the undiluted word of God. Stay blessed. You are welcome back and thanks for staying tuned. For more on our top stories, please visit our website at acnntv.com or youtube.com forward slash acnntv. To be up to date with our news and other programs, download the ACNN app for Android from Google Play Store. In our efforts to serve you better, ACNN will now broadcast on HD free-to-air decoders only effective from December 2018. All that is needed to do is an auto-scanning of your HD MP4 decoder. And when this is done, you will see our new channel with the name ACNN TV, which is different from the current ACNN. In case you rescan and could not see virtual, please we encourage you to get the HD version of your decoder at the satellite score close to you. For inquiries on this, please call us on plus 234-7032656544. You can also watch us on the go by visiting our website www.acnntv.com forward slash tv. And now to foreign news. The former Commonwealth Secretary General, Chief Emeka Anyoko, has called for the unity and integration of African states in order to advance development among Africans. Anyoko made the call while delivering a keynote speech at the 1958 All-African People's Conference organized by the trial of the Institute of Commonwealth Studies at the School of Advanced Study, University of London, United Nations Association to mark the 60th anniversary of the All-African People's Conference which held in London. Anyoko, who assessed the impact of the 1958 all African People's Conference admitted that a major objective of the conference, which was the attainment of the unity and integration of African states, was yet to be achieved. He called on Commonwealth to continue to lend itself as a platform for the promotion of peace, human rights, socio-economic development and general well-being of the people of its African members. The chaplain of St. George's Anglican Church in Baghdad, Father Faiz Jejits, has been recognized by the Iraqi army for his peace-building efforts. This is the second time in two years that his work has been recognized by Iraqi authorities. In December last year, the country's Ministry of Culture named him as one of Iraqi's distinguished personalities of the year for his work supporting human rights. Now he has been recognized by the country's army for his outstanding contribution to peaceful coexistence in Iraq. Marking the award, Lieutenant General Otman Algani, the Iraqi's Army Chief of Staff applauded Father Faith for his courage in helping to raise awareness of issues others fear to broach. The award was presented at Iraq's Joint Army Staff College. Tourist sites in Paris are set to shut down amid fears of further street violence from Yellow Fest anti-government protests. Prime Minister Eduardo Philippe said that over 89,000 France police officers will be on duty and armored vehicles will be deployed in the capital. Police have urged shops and restaurants on some parts of Paris to shut down while some museums will also be closed. Meanwhile, the government of France has said that it is scrapping unpopular fall tax increases in its budget that triggered the protests as border discontent with 
the government has spread and protests have erupted over other issues. And while speaking to the Senate, Mr. Phillips suggested further concessions to protestants, saying that the government was open to new measures to help the lowest paid workers. So that's it on this edition of the News on the R. I want to thank you for watching. I am Zubechi Frank.